Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an updated what's in my diaper bag video. I do have a couple of these up on my channel. The first one is a what's in my diaper bag of this same bag, but I had it packed for just one newborn baby. The second one is what I kept in my diaper bag for my toddler. I filmed that right before my second baby was born. So now I'm showing you what I keep in here for my toddler and my newborn. If you haven't seen those other videos, I will go ahead and link them down below, but let's go ahead and get into this bag here. This is my very first original diaper bag. I've been using this guy for a couple of months. I kind of rotate back and forth every two or three months between this bag and the other diaper bag, which I showed in my other video. It's more of like a tall, like traditional backpack. This one's kind of a wider, shorter backpack style. So this particular bag is the Jujube BFF and this one's in the East Hampton print, I believe, which is a discontinued print, but you can find it on like eBay or Amazon or wherever you can find discontinued prints. Um, so I will go ahead and show you what is in here? Like I said, I do have two kids. Ellie is almost two and Emma is going on six months old now. So that is kind of what I am packing for. So in this very first pocket here, this is the mommy pocket and I've really simplified this down over the past few months. So I like to keep a pouch in here and this just has some gum some chapstick, some ibuprofen, some tampons, that kind of thing. And then I do keep a granola bar in here for me as well. That's pretty much all I keep in here now though. I do switch bags back and forth so often that I've really narrowed it down to like just what fits in a pouch. In this pocket here, it is lined for sunglasses, but I just keep my wallet and my keys in this pocket. I have a key fob, so I don't actually have to take my keys out. So that works perfectly. And then in the side pockets, in one side, we keep a burp cloth. And in the other side, we normally have a bottle. And then in the very far back, we have the changing pad that comes with the bag. That's all of the outside pockets. Let's go ahead and get into the inside of the bag. One of the things I love the most about this bag is how it can like sit open on its own. That is the main key highlight of this bag is you can organize so well in here. I just love this bag so much. It's definitely worth the splurge for a Jujube. I totally want to get another one because they're awesome bags. So these two clear pockets here, I utilize for my diaper sacks on one side. And then on this side, I keep extra hair elastics. There have been so many times that we're out and Ellie either breaks an elastic or we leave the house in a rush and I don't have time to do her hair. So keeping extra elastics in here has saved my butt like dozens of times. That is such a good mom hack for you. So if you have a girl, keep elastics in the diaper bag slash in the car. Genius. In this front zipper pocket here, I keep some boogie wipes, some pacifier wipes, some gripe water with a syringe, which is not currently in here because we just used it today an emergency sucker for a toddler meltdown. And this is another genius mom hack. Kids freaking love lotion. I like to have lotion in the diaper bag because I will just open it and give her one little dot on her finger and she will sit and rub it in and ask for more and she will play with the lotion for, I kid you not, like 45 minutes. We use this in church all the time. So life hack, again, bring some lotion in your diaper bag. On this side pocket over here, I keep an extra bib. This is one of the Tommy Tippy ones. And I like it because you can wipe it off. So if it gets dirty at a restaurant, I can just wipe it off or take it to the bathroom and rinse it off and stick it back in here. And then I have a thing of hand sanitizer, which we use all the time. This is one of the foaming hand sanitizers. And again, toddlers go crazy for this stuff. I like to keep an extra little thing of wipes in here. There have been so many times that we've ran out of wipes in the pack or forgotten to grab the pack of wipes altogether in here. And we've had to use some of this emergency backup wipes. So this is just a super thin, like eight count that you get in like a baby registry gift that I have just stuck in the back. It just peaks up a little bit just in case we forget. 
And then for diapers, I have Ellie's on this side. She's a size five, so they kind of stick up and they're massive, but I like to have at least three or four diapers for her. And then Emma's are on this side. She's a size three. And I usually like to have four or five diapers for her. This side pocket holds a little bag that has just an extra onesie for each of them in here. Now that it's getting into colder weather, I do need to throw some pants in here somehow. But as you can tell, there's not a lot of extra room in this bag. So I'm going to have to figure out something different for like a backup pair of pants and socks. I'll probably have to get a bigger bag for that. But I like to keep an extra outfit in here. And then I also have a little travel diaper cream, which we don't use very often, but it's in there just in case. In the main pocket of the bag here, I have a snack bag, which this is always stocked with a couple of applesauce pouches. These fill her up if she's like actually hungry. So if we're out and about like during lunchtime and she needs something, I will go ahead and give her both of these to like fill up her tummy. But mostly if you have a toddler, you know, you want little finger snacks because these are what keep them entertained in the grocery store. So I always have raisins and then I always have one of these like individually packaged. She really likes the Belveda blueberry crackers, but like goldfish, Cheez-Its, veggie straws, um, any kind of little cookies or crackers that come in the individual bags are awesome for the diaper bag. And then sometimes I'll throw like a couple of little extra toys or something in here if I know we're going to like the doctor's appointment or whatever. She has a little book in here. These board books fit perfectly. This doesn't entertain her for very long anymore. She's kind of grown out of this stage. Normally, honestly, I just turn on a movie on my phone and hand that to her and that's what entertains her for the longest, but I do try to put a couple of toys in here. She's been really into her sticker book lately, so I'll usually like set that in the back here or whatever, but I have a pack of wipes. The Hello Bella wipes are my favorite ones to keep in the diaper bag because the packages are really slim and they fit in here really nicely. There's not too many wipes in here. So I try to keep some kind of little teether or rattle toy in here for Emma because she's at that age that sometimes she just wants something to play with. So I try to keep a toy in here for her. And then because it's cold, I do have an extra blanket in here in case one of them is out in the stroller in the cold weather and we forget a blanket. And usually I will keep a pacifier in here for the baby as well. This little formula container is also usually in here filled up with a formula. It got pulled out and used today. So it was not in here, but it normally is. It needs to get refilled, but that does belong in here as well. That is it, you guys. That is everything that I keep in my diaper bag for my toddler and my newborn. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my other what's in my diaper bag videos. And spoiler, I'll probably be getting a new bag for Christmas as well. So stay tuned for my updated version of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you leave. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.